average human heart beats 100,000 times a day. In an average 70-year lifetime, that's a massive two and a half billion times. But what happens when a heart doesn't beat like it's supposed to? Once upon a time, the consequences could be fatal. But thanks to a humble radio enthusiast, a matchbox-sized gadget has become one of the most important medical innovations of the 20th century. The pacemaker is now commonplace, but the story behind it is frankly unbelievable. Growing up in the 1920s in Buffalo, New York, Wilson Greatbatch is naturally inquisitive. I think my dad was always an inventor, you know, always tinkering with things. The young Great Batch finds himself drawn to the world of wireless radio. We would have what they call a crystal radio, and there was only about, you know, maybe a half a dozen components. String aer aerials or wires to the trees, you know, to pick up reception. He could listen to things happening in London and France and Japan and such places. It was just the fascination that here was a device that could be used to communicate all over the world. Great Batch's passion for radio lands him a job as a navigator during World War II, flying missions off the USS Monterey. Basically work on all communications between the plane and the ship, and it was constantly improving that and working on that. As the war progresses, Great Batch's missions get deadlier. Losses mount. They lost, I guess, about a third of the squadron you know, during the war. Great Batch starts carrying a Bible on every mission. But on one deadly day in 1943, it isn't enough. Sure that he's going to die, he makes a promise to God. He just said, God, you know, if you get me out of this, you've got my life. I'm giving my life to you. Two years later, when the war ends, Great Batch is one of the lucky ones. Determined to make his life count for something, he vows to dedicate his life to saving others. It's a journey that begins when he obtains a degree from Cornell University in electrical engineering. It's here, in their labs, that he learns of the deadly condition that will define his life's work. Wilson Greatbatch was uh, speaking with uh, physicians, and that's where he first learned about the problem of heart block. Heart block affects millions of people around the world. In a normal heart, a cluster of cells called the sinus node, positioned in the right atrium, emits a regular electrical pulse, making the heart beat. Heart block occurs when these pulses are delayed or disrupted. It can mean a person is left short of breath, or worse. The heart rate can, rather than being 60, 70, or 80 beats per minute, it can be a very slow heart rhythm, and the person will pass out. In extreme cases, heart block can lead to death. Great Batch instantly identifies with the problem in radio terms. It's a communication problem, a signal that's not getting through. And the solution lies in his love of electricity. 